Good morning guys. So, I don't know, it's like 7 a.m., something like that. I picked a bunch of garlic um, a couple days ago. This was the last of it and now it's just drying out. I'll be able to kind of cut it up today because you can see the stalks are all dry. I have lots of tomatoes and banana peppers to pick today. I did have a lot of peas and kale, but the little varmint got back in the garden last night and ate everything. Um, I just cut up some melon. Last time I picked out a perfectly ripe melon, this melon is not perfectly ripe. And I'll show you. I just throw it in the bowl. Fits perfect. I already ate the middle one because you guys know that's the best one. I'm gonna cover it in lime. I'm probably gonna eat like half of this. So good. And I'm doing like dishes and laundry right now, just cleaning up the house. And I might get to go to Six Flags tonight. I don't really know. So I am at Six Flags. I'm waiting for Hank. We are gonna go check out the new roller coaster ride, the Wonder Woman. Well, if he is, and I get to go hang out at the park all day. So we're gonna see what's going on now. Is there people waiting in line for that ride? Probably. Yeah, there is. And there are people going up. Good morning, guys. It is only 10.49 in the morning. It's already over 90 degrees, and I'm sweating. So, I started the vlog out at Costco's. As you can see, they had figs, and I'm like, you know what? It's a sign. We're going to vlog today because I love figs. <laughs> I haven't vlogged in a while. Really busy. Me and Hank have been having a ton of fun lately, and like... I brought my camera every time we've done something, but I just never filmed anything. Allie. Costco changed their fruit smoothie and I love it even more. They used to have the three berry smoothie. Now it's just called a fruit smoothie and they put the berry mix with this like orange, frozen orange juice concentrate. So much better. But it's now like $3 for this. It's crazy. They're jacking up their prices at the food courts. But the only thing I ever get at the food court that's vegan is a fruit smoothie. And I don't mind. It's even better. So that's okay. So we're going to head home, take out the groceries, and I got to go find some new coffee because I bought this, this super fancy coffee that I'm like, oh, I'm going to love this. And it's too dark of a roast and it just tastes burnt. I'm a little bit of a coffee connoisseur now, but I. I was like, ooh, let me get this. This is real good coffee, but it was no good. I don't like it. So, let's go home. I'll show you my groceries. And, uh, yeah. Okay. I found a bunch of vegan goodies. So, I found some um, Jamaican-style vegetable patties. Vegan! And then this was a steal. I was so excited to see this. For a dollar. Frozen veggies for a dollar. Like... Really? Usually this is like two nineteen or something at the store. Sometimes even four bucks for a bag of this. So well, it was a real good. So let's see what does it say. Probably I'm gonna guess four fifty. I hope it doesn't say. It says microwave. Okay, oven. Two minutes. Household microwave oven. Commercial microwave oven. I don't want to microwave it. Can I not cook it? All right. We are going to try this empanada. It smells so good and it's way crispier than I thought for being in the microwave. So I'm kind of excited. I got my um, latte right here. So you're gonna be at a weird angle. Sorry, I don't know where else to put ya. Vegan empanada, dollar from Dollar Tree. That is actually really good. And listen to the ingredients. So. The inside is cabbage, green beans, carrots, broccoli, corn, onion, seasoning salt, and they tell you what's that. Salt, paprika, soy grits, celery, red pepper, garlic, onion, turmeric, 
and some weird phosphate anti-caking agent. Oregano, natural flavor, sea salt, soybean oil, and there's one weird thing, modified cornstarch and pepper. Um, other, other than like the modified cornstarch, I don't really know what that is. And the phosphate, I, that's in a lot of food. That's that's pretty get, dang good for a dollar. Um, I would get it again 100%, and I think I am, because these are the perfect like lunches for work. That's saving me a lot of money instead of going next door to get like a $10 salad, which I do about twice a week. <laughs> so $20 a week and just salad, which is ridiculous. Mm. Wanna show you this. So, this pearl organic soy milk that's chocolate that I got from Dollar Tree, cheaper than the Costco's 12 pack. So like the 12 pack cost me like $16 or something. These are a dollar each. So I could get 16 of these for the same price that I paid for this one, which is crazy. And the other thing is the ingredients, I feel like they're not as bad as these ingredients on here. This one has like added um, vitamins A and vitamin D and like um, vanilla flavoring. And this is like legit like cocoa powder. So I definitely had a really good garden this year, um, tomato wise, way better than the year before. I think this is the best year yet for me and tomatoes. Other plants, not so much. Uh, really good year for me for lettuce, other than the groundhog eating everything. A really good year for um, peppers for me. It's coming, that storm's coming guys, I gotta hurry up. And uh, overall, I'm happy. If I didn't have a groundhog, this place would be flourishing with okra and um, edamame, but the groundhog literally ate all my okra and all my edamame, so I don't have much left. Side note for anyone watching, guys, if I keep vlogging, you guys have to remember next year I need to put some kind of calcium down because I'm getting really bad root rot. Oh, I can hear the rain, but it's not, it's not here yet. So... Shoot, there's a bee. I'm allergic, but I think I'll be okay. I won't bug him. He won't bug me, right? That's how it goes. Hopefully. Hopefully he's friendly and he doesn't attack. These are my beans. They would have done a lot better, but the groundhog eats them. He eats everything he sees, that little groundhog. If you guys watch me on Snapchat, this is the plant that I've been talking about that's giving me hundreds upon hundreds and hundreds on hundreds of cherry tomatoes it is crazy and it's it's like literally flourishing with with these cherry tomatoes and I can only eat so many cherry tomatoes by themselves during salad so this is one you got to get it's called super sweet do you guys see that look at that oh my gosh and I started all these from seed in the garden for not even what five minutes and at least have like five, six pounds of tomatoes. Probably way over that. But, uh, man, got some good grubbing. So it looks like I'm going to have to grow a black raspberry bush right here because literally this thing is covered. Covered. Black raspberries or blackberries? I don't remember uh, the difference. But, anyways. Look at, look how good and juicy these puppies are. They're huge. There's so many. I had to cut the bush down because it is overgrowing on my strawberry patch. And, uh, honestly, I like strawberries more than I like these things because they're so dang thorny. Oh, and they stain your fingers. But, if, this is another plant that was taking over. But, if... I can find a part where I can pick this up. Do you see all these black raspberries? It's crazy. There would have been more, but I had to pick it because it is taking, it literally took over. Oh, look at that big grass ever. It literally took over my strawberry bed. And most likely I'm gonna move this next year. Uh, pretty dang excited. Everything in this dish is from my garden. The rutabaga, the rutabaga, the rutabaga. The tomatoes, the carrots. Oh my goodness, I found a real, look. 
I thought they were like just orange carrots inside. There's also yellow carrots. They're so they're so multicolored. I put garlic in there for my garlic. Yes, I didn't declove it, but you don't have to. <laughs> Um, and then I added some olive oil, obviously not from my garden, and I added some herbs and spices, also not from my garden, but all the veggies, I'm saying, are all from my garden, so I'm going to make, like, a rutabaga cold soup, because A, it's summertime, and B, I like soup. <laughs> I'm going to finish cutting up these carrots, let's see if any of these are fun color, or if they're just orange inside. It's still fun, because it's, like, outside purple, inside blue, but blue, orange, <laughs> so... I'm gonna throw those in there. I just gotta cut off the tops. I do this so the carrot doesn't get really, really squishy because if you don't, uh, like this. Do you see how that is? Like you, I didn't cut the top off soon enough so all the, the water went to the stem and now it's like a worm. But, you know, I can still eat it. It's not bad. So far, everything in this bowl is from my garden. Like, this would be a really good potato, t potato, t p tomato salad on its own. But I've added some, like, seasoning salts to it. And then I'm going to add this um, pasta. I have some black olives I'm going to put in here. But I wanted to show you the just from my garden bowl before I added black olives. Because, obviously, I can grow olives up here. 